Thanks to Top Glubovic here again, and thanks for joining me in this next video of my series of doing a project within the Autodesk AEC collections. Um, so we've we've done some pen IDs, we've done some plant modelling. So whether it's it's equipment structure or piping, produced documentation in orthographics and in isometrics. We've utilised advanced steel to import our plant structure. Uh, create some some uh, some connections, do some 2D documentation, and um, also bringing that back into Plant 3D as you can see here under the project manager. But today we're going to look at utilizing Revit. So within Plant, if you if you are doing the structure in Plant, you might want to bring it into Revit for some reason. So whether it's some analysis or maybe it's, it's incorporating it to the architectural side of your project, uh, we can export all of this out to uh, Revit via the XML file. Now, if for the keen viewers in the, in the audience, you can see that I've turned off things like handrail and ladders and that kind of stuff. Um, I've done that really just because I'm, I'm not really interested in bringing that into, into Revit. And, and again, Revit uh, might have some tools to do it a little bit more automated as well. So this is just really the basic uh, steel concept uh, being brought into, into Revit. So, I'm just exporting it out as I did normally before to, to advanced steel and then inside my uh, Revit uh, interface I look for the add-ins tab on the home screen and then I look for the advanced steel and then import that file. So now go to my desktop. So what it's going to do is if it can't if, it, if the families aren't inside um, this Revit project, then again, it, it might come up with a dialogue saying that, that you need to, to import or create the new families. But uh, this one, I've already got them in there. So you can see under the families, under my structural uh, framing, we already have these UVs and UCs and whatnot. So that's really about it. That You can see that, it, that it's brought it in. I can have a look. So. I haven't adjusted these levels. These are all the out of the box levels, but I guess again, you could probably uh, modify them to suit. But basically there's our plant model inside Revit. And then you could use some of the steel uh, tools in here to, to modify and manipulate. But then ultimately, again, we could also use the extension here to export this back out uh, to advanced steel again a second time. Uh, and then use a synchronizing function to, to bring them back and forth as well. So this video is short and sweet. Um, next, on my next video, we're going to look at dumping this from Revit to Advanced Steel uh, and then have a look at synchronizing things back and forth. Hit the subscribe button uh, if you want to get notified of future videos from us here at Autodesk Australia. Hit the, the little bell icon at the top of your screen there to get some notifications in your inbox too. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.